What's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm Blake McLean and I'm a music producer. So I know I haven't been posting on here very much lately. I actually have a vlog channel that I've been posting almost every day lately. Um, there's a link down in the description for that if you want to check it out, just kind of see what's going on in my daily life. Um, another huge announcement. I'm actually doing giveaways every day this week with a huge giveaway at the end. I've got two Harry Styles tickets for his concert in Nashville on September 29th. They're great seats. Um, there's a link down in the description for that as well if you want to enter. You just have to follow the instructions and it'll tell you exactly how to do everything. Um, I gave away some Louie merch today and there's a bunch of stuff like for my band and everything like that, like merch from us, um, posters. I'm even giving away a zebra mug, that kind of a thing. So yeah, check it out, help support us, and um, it's going to be fun because we're actually releasing some music this week. So keep an eye out for that too. Um, that being said, I'm excited for this. You guys have been asking for this for a while <laughs> and literally ever since the day he did it and I'm so sad that I didn't actually get to see the live stream but we're gonna jump into it now so this is Louis Tomlinson change let's go man <laughs> sick. Time of our lives It's easy to see We were just getting by We were complete Oh, that is one of my favorite things that he does is that little made me complete like you can hear the chord change underneath it and it's just like it's a very 90s, early 2000s thing to do, and you don't hear it very much in modern music, but I, that is like, makes me so happy when I hear that. It hasn't been long that I've been away. I don't know why everything's changed. Kids inside. again he's just got he is such a good writer like it's it's blatantly obvious he knows where he's going with this stuff and i mean it builds the tension beautifully into this hook and i'm assuming drums are coming in on the second verse to kind of start pushing in another direction but god that just feels amazing and it just it you feel that release on the chorus he's fantastic <laughs> I want it so bad. Out on the street. The streets of memory lane. The house is full of the same. There's different names on the gates. And all the people have changed. Oh, it's such a shame. Nothing stays the same. Cause it's. You know, another comment, just, I love the style that he has found for himself in this music. It works so well with his voice, and it's a nice combination of, like, like I said, like, late 90s, early 2000s, you know, alternative, with a bit of a modern twist to it. And the modern twist is really difficult to, to pinpoint and to find, but my thought is it's in the melody. Yeah, you too, bud? You think the same? Um... I'm thinking it's in the melody because of the way, again, that it builds the tension and then it just kind of opens up, you know, as opposed to going into this huge chorus, like a lot of the, um, a lot of those early rock things, like 
songs did, not things. <laughs> What is that? That reminds me of something and I can't... I can't think of it. crazy you know sometimes like numbers just sort of line up you know I don't know what all the fan theories are for it I honestly don't I've just had somebody tell me about the number 28 and how it's like a reoccurring thing so yeah I, I don't know <laughs> Cause I have said things in the past that like I totally unintentional and everyone was like oh my god he knew and I, I have no idea <laughs> Tell you what I do know though, I love his music. Like I just absolutely love his music. He's just he's bringing it back all on his own, and it's it's brilliant. Like it makes me so excited for my own music. There's a couple albums I've done lately, including Luke Hemmings' album, which was just that threw me for a loop. Like I literally, my girlfriend came home and I was staring at the wall. This is twice it happened, and she's like, "What's wrong?" I go, "I just I listened to the album again," and she was like, "Why?" And I was like, "Cause it's so good." And it even inspired me to kind of, you know, write some new music and change some of the stuff that I was writing. And this does the exact same thing. It's it's just, it's so real and it's so raw and it's so natural and it's so right. You know, it's what music is all about. And I just, I love doing artists like this. It makes me so happy. Also, I just did want to mention about the contest thing, too, because I just realized I didn't even say the name of my band earlier. Um, the name of my band is Birds of Paradise. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Like I said, we've got a new single coming out this Friday. Um, I just shot the music video for it and everything. Like yesterday, I'm editing it right now. Um, so there's a lot going on, but that being said, that's just off the top of my head. I've got a... I'm full of thoughts right now. This is just... This was a nice break. If I'm going to listen to music, this is what I want to listen to. This makes me happy, but I want more songs. <laughs> I'm ready for the second album, too. Anyways, guys, I know I'm rambling today. I'm all over the place, but thanks for hanging around. Thanks for sticking with me, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I will catch you all later.